Hey, welcome back to the channel. Check out the video we have here. This is just a quick update on our OBS. You've seen the video before. The toolbox is removed. We've done a few things to the interior so far. And now we have our tires mounted and balanced. You'll see that later on in the video. Plus we have a special surprise at the end to help us work on the OBS. So I hope you like it. Check out the next section. We're going for a drive. Thanks. We're out driving the uh, OBS Chevy. It's a terrible day out. I actually use it to haul some trash, so kind of interesting. But uh, anyway, drives pretty good. As far as uh, how far as it runs good, shifts all right. You know, it's got a lot of miles on it. But hey, steering's got some slop in it, so that just tells me it needs some it needs some uh, steering components. Probably well, needs a front end rebuild. Probably did that when we put the uh, springs on it. I bought some uh, primer for up there. Like I said, I'm not gonna make it a show truck, but I'll, I'm gonna fix that the rust. I don't wanna leave it patented, I don't think. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, like a split paint job, like I talked about in the last video. But anyway, it runs, I think it runs good. Next stop is uh, getting the suspension on, getting the wheels and tires on, and then we'll do some paint work. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a nice short one, but uh, we'll see you on the next one. And uh, like and subscribe to the content, man. We're going to keep it going. Thanks. All right, so we got the uh, wheels and tires mounted for the OBS Chevy build and they look really good got some water tires in the back a little bit narrow on the front i think they look awesome so next step is we're going to do the suspension and and we've already started some work on the interior we've got some things to clean out of the bed and then we're going to get it down some get these on see how we like it it's a 3-4 drop, so nothing drastic, but I think it'll look good with these wheels. And if not, we'll go we'll go farther. Uh, so, um, you should, as you saw in the first part of the video, we took the uh, OBS for a drive. The truck actually runs good, drives great. Uh, just got a little slop in the front end. So hopefully with the, uh, the kit on it, we may replace the tie rod ends, get all that stuff looking good. And uh, these wheels and tires should perform great with that truck. It's a light truck, short wheelbase, got the old school look. I think it's gonna be hot. So I'm gonna fix the paint, um, kind of go back white where it needs to be painted white. And then we're gonna uh, probably split two tone it, like I said in the first video. So check out the next part of the video. Got a little surprise there that will help with the build. Um, Got something, for, something sort of for free. Had to do a lot of work on it, but uh, still working on it. But I think it'll help us um, from with this project and then the future projects. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Check out the next part. Hey, so we got a uh, lift that we got for free. Basically, my uh, my work was going to scrap this lift. It still works. But, oh, it did still work, but it has automatic air locks, safety locks, and they were corroded. And we needed, basically we needed a new lift there, so they were going to scrap this one out. I picked it up, and this is going to help us with our OBS build, hopefully. Uh, you know, I've got some jacks, a bunch of jacks, but I haven't... 
uh, haven't really ever had a lift in the garage. So with this thing, basically what I've done so far is put these pads down because I don't really want to make it permanent right now because I may reposition it. So if that makes sense. Um, and this thing over here will be gone. It just was in here. So I'll be able to pull a vehicle up on it. And I've still got to do some readjustments, the pads. I got these pads from uh, Harbor Freight, super cheap. I think they were like 40 bucks for four of them. The list free. Uh, the only thing they did when they uninstalled it from the the uh, shop it was in is they cut the uh, main line. I know that's basically took that main line to a, uh, uh, a hose shop and had them redo it. Now, what I thought uh, with hydraulic hoses is um, I could have use the same ones and have them, you know, have this one made, which this one made is, is perfectly fine, works perfectly fine. But they have a manifold block. It's supposed to go right here, as you can see. I apologize for all the mess. But this manifold block basically evens out if you have a longer hose to run to the other lift or the other side of the lift. So it's either I get this hose shortened the same length as that hose, which is an option, I guess, or I'll get the manifold. And I think I may have one somewhere. So I'm gonna do that. But I think this will really help with our builds and you know, just like maintenance and stuff like that on the, on the other cars. So not bad for free and it does work. Can see it lifts uneven that's because this one is closer it's a shorter distance than the other one so but anyway i will uh get that block i'm assuming that way i can get this a little more under control because <laughs> it needs to lift the, the same and it's basically, a, they call it a manifold block, but I think it's more like a distribution block where it equalizes the pressure <laughs> on the lines. You know, I've had hydraulics on other, on vehicles and stuff in the past and been around machinery a lot, basically all my life. So I think it'd be cool for the build. So I hope you like this uh, video. I give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel see how the OBS goes I've got the wheels and tires mounted and as you'll see in the first part of this video I just need to get the uh, lowering kit put on um, and then I've got another um, video coming out after that so hopefully we'll get it and we'll do like a paint series on it uh, so have a great day like and sub we'll see you on the next one thanks